Hey, so what up guys, Mehri with Droid Tech, back again with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be bringing to you the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So because I'm a pretty late buyer, I didn't get to buy the bundle, which comes with the Black Shark controller. So I actually bought it separately. Okay, so without further ado, let's check out the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Alright guys, so let's put the Black Shark controller to the side, let's focus on the star of the show, which is the Redmi Note 8 Pro itself. And I got mine in the 128 GB variant in blue. So you can see there's a white version right here. I tried to get the white version, but they were out of stock. So I just grabbed the blue one because I just wanted to test it out and show you guys. Okay, so let's take a look around the box. You can see Redmi Note 8 Pro on the bottom, you can see. I got it in 6GB, 128GB ROM, and it's in ocean blue. Not really my favorite color, but um, it is what it is. Okay, you can see, very simple, very nice presentation. Okay, so let's open the box. So on the top of the box, you get this sleeve, which contains the case. Same ejector tool. Warranty information. Quick start guide. See right here, warranty card and a quick start guide. Not really going to read that, and also a TPU case. Let me get it right here. Regular TPU case, very nice because uh, they have actually port covers. I'm a big fan of port covers. If you've seen my previous videos, I love cases with port covers. I think port covers are very essential. So, big fan of that. You can see, very nice case. Of course, the Xiaomi phones, unlike Honor and Huawei phones, or even Oppo and Realme phones, they don't come with a pre-installed screen protector. So I had to get one, pretty cheap one, when I bought it just now. Okay, so starch back right here. So that so you can see, Redmi Note 8 Pro. So the highlights are 64 megapixel ultra high resolution camera. 6.53 inch Full HD plus display You can see this is the Helio G90T This is a MediaTek processor and My experience with MediaTek processors have been sort of a mixed bag But anyway, I heard a lot of good things about this, this processor right here Especially in the gaming department So I'm really eager to try this out That's the reason I got this You can see very nice, I'll get back to that in a bit. Let's see what else comes in the box. Very the bare essentials. So what you get here is USB type A, USB type C. I got tons of them around. As well as a charging brick right here. So pretty standard. Just the essentials. I mean that's good enough for me because I don't think I'll be needing anything else. Because the earphones that comes in these boxes are pretty crap. Anyway, so might as well not have it. Let's take a look at the phone itself. So you can see it's a hybrid SIM slot. Love that, which means I can add in a micro SD card or two nano SIMs. But of course, I'll be adding a micro SD card because I have a 128 GB micro SD card. You can see the 64 megapixel camera. So they are, it's actually like a quad camera setup. So there's a 2 megapixel macro lens right here with the flash. And we have a wide angle. We have the 64 megapixel main shooter and also we have a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So there's nothing really, really special I should say. It's the basic set. Of course you are missing out a telephoto lens. I mean some of you might like telephoto lenses so this would be a deal breaker for you guys. But for me, I'd rather have the depth sensor because I'm into portrait mode. And also, unlike the Realme XT, there's a physical fingerprint scanner right here. So I mean, it's kind of like old school, I should say. Okay guys, so taking a look at the bottom of the device, you can see there is a speaker grill, microphone, USB Type-C port, as well as a 3.5mm jack. So it's rare to see a 3.5mm jack these days. So on the right side, you get your volume up and down, as well as your power button. On the left side, you get your SIM card slot right here. So on the top, you get a secondary noise cancelling microphone right there, as well as an IR blaster. 
So IR Blaster is something not really seen in phones these days. Okay, so let's put the phone to the side. Let's focus on the accessories. So right here we have the Black Sharp left side gaming pad. You can see right here. If you closer look, you can see Black Sharp game pad left side version. So let's take a look. I've already cracked open the seal so you get the instruction manual showing you details on how to get started with this gamepad as well as the gamepad itself so right here let me get that out see this is the gamepad itself very nice nice buttons you also get a L1 and L2 button as well very nice you can see black shark right here and it charges via USB type C so that's uh, something really really good I like that I like that it charges through the latest standard the cable we have to use the cable that comes with our device okay let's take a look at the other portion of the controller which is the black shark gamepad holder so actually this fits on the Redmi Note 8 Pro along with the case, the included case which comes in the box. I mean the one which I showed you just now. So you have to fit on the case in order to fit on this adapter I should say. Okay, let's take out the holder. Okay, so it only comes with this piece. So when you got this case installed on your phone which I'm trying to do right here. All you need to do is actually take this portion and just slide it on right here. Just like this. And then your gamepad slides in like so. So basically it's pretty ergonomic. Not the best feel because I have really large hands. So I think this gamepad is kind of small and cramped. But overall okay. I mean considering that this is actually a phone, not a gaming device. This setup is pretty good. So let's take the, the gamepad out. So this portion. Okay, it's pretty hard to take out. I mean, it's a good and bad thing. Okay. So that wraps up the video of the Redmi Note 8 Pro as well as the accompanying gamepad and the holder as well. So. If you do get this gamepad, you would definitely need the holder to go along with this gamepad. So if you do get one, make sure that this accessory is also included. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys liked it. I'll be taking this phone to Korea next month. So I'm hoping to take really great photos with this device. Of course, I'll be bringing it alongside my iPhone 11 Pro Max so I can show you probably a comparison. So do follow me on my Instagram page at droidtech underscore official. And also if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, Hit that subscribe button, enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And also if you did like this video, hit that thumbs up button. So that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one.